They get elected to foster and promote transparency uh, of the federal government. And you can start transparency. Well, you know, that, I think the fourth estate has really got to step up, okay, and that's the media. I mean, we have the executive branch, the legislative branch, the judicial branch, and those are the three pillars of our government, but the fourth estate, I mean, we have a free press, and we have tremendous constitutional privileges that are awarded that free press. I know Obama has talked a great deal about putting more stuff on C-SPAN, you know, and having the government make C-SPAN more available so people can turn in to watch, okay? And I don't know how many, I, I don't know how many people would find that engaging or interesting. <laughs> but, but one of the things that we have to do is we have to, we have to, the media has to step up. They really have to step up. And, and that's very important because they need to do their job. And that's very important that they do their job. We can't force them to do their job, it's free press. But they have to do their job, and that is really the best way. And people need to ask the questions, and maybe people need to demand that the media does their job. It's pretty hard to argue that Robert Gerke isn't doing his job, but I will do my best in saying that, um, look, we, uh, I say it with a smile on my face, I, look, how you run your campaign, I think, is a good indication. I do some things that are not required by law. For instance, I, uh, I, uh, uh, reveal each and every donor to my campaign. Right now, if it's only $200 and above, you have to actually designate who made a donation to your campaign. You look at Barack Obama's campaign, something like 40% of the hundreds of millions of dollars he's raised has come from people that are donating less than $200. He should have to articulate and open up the books to show where that money's coming from. I voluntarily do that in my campaign. You make a donation of $2, I will put it on my disclosure report. Same thing should happen in the United States Congress. Right now, if you wanted to go see the individual budget of your congressman, the $1.35 million that is roughly the budget, uh, for instance, of a congressman from the state of Utah, you can't find it online. They don't make it available. You have to physically go into the House of Representatives and open up a book that's been printed at some great expense and then go and photocopy and do it. I think it's because Congress doesn't want to open it up and have the transparency that you as a voter deserve. And it's something I'd like to champion and make sure that we change within the United States Congress. Uh, I think it's wrong that uh, you know Nancy Pelosi turned off the cameras uh, when uh, we had members of the House of Representatives out there talking about energy. Every day since Jim Matheson and the Democrats decided to go on recess, the Republicans have been in there and the House of Representatives making an articulating voice on energy. And it's wrong that she turned off the cameras and didn't make that available. I'd like to see it uh, happen in the courts as well. It's, uh, it's going to be difficult to try to push that. The judicial branch is going to have to make the decision, but I'd love to see the cameras uh, there in the Supreme Court. There are so many things that we should do. Primarily, mean, primarily, that means making this information available online. It's getting better, but there's a lot we can do to champion uh, that. Earmarks is the thing I'll leave you with. I have taken the pledge. I will not ask for these earmarks, these airdropped earmarks, these appropriations. You deserve to know what your congressman is asking for and to be able to see it walk through the process. Right now there is no transparency in that process uh, until the very end. We had a, a $550 billion omnibus bill that passed in December of last year. There were 9,500 earmarks in that bill. It had 48 hours of, de of daylight before the, co the Congress voted on. That is just so wrong. So there's a lot that we can do there. Um, and uh, rather than just relying on the, the media to do the job, I want to empower people in their own personal computers in their basement to be able to access the information, what's going on and not going on within the United States Congress. Thank you.